In this video, we're going to talk about how we used Excel automation to optimize a client's AR processes, taking out about $300,000 in costs. Um, the client eventually sold the business at an 8x multiple, which really translated to about $2.4 million of value um, on the sale price. Okay, so. The client um, had a situation where their AR department uh, sole purpose was to take this file, which is an extract from an ERP system. And what they would then do is copy, literally copy and paste customer number, billing invoice number and type, and other invoice details. Uh, to this template, print it out as a PDF, attach that PDF to an email, and then send that email off to their customers. Um, and you can imagine with tens, hundreds, even thousands of different customers every month, this is going to be, it can be a very, very costly endeavor, time consuming endeavor. Okay. So here's what we did. I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to open up this file here called AR PDF Generator. And uh, when this file opens, you'll see that there are three buttons. The top button is going to be generate statements all receivables. So let's talk about that. This will generate those PDFs in this folder. You'll see that it's blank. All receivable folder is blank. So I'm going to click it right now. And what this does is it, it literally generates those PDFs for you. Um, it's going to take about half a minute. Um, and these are for all receivables. So whether the customer owes money, but whether it's due in 30 days, 60 days, or if it's past due, you're, you're going to get uh, the PDF. And this is useful to see which clients owe what and how much they owe. Um, so you can easily send it off to clients. Okay, so wait a little bit more here. It's going to be done soon. Uh, 126 reports done in 40 seconds. So now you see there's a folder in here. There are 126 items, so those are the reports. If I click on the first one, uh, we see it here. So this is pretty much the invoice here, invoice details. The customer logo can go here, and then the customer, let's say, bank information can go here for payment. Okay. So automated. PDF generation, 126 of them. We can also make this a little smarter. Um, so I've got a second button here that'll look at the ERP extract and just do the pass due receivables. So it's going to drop them in this folder here, which is blank. So let's click on it right now. And we'll see the results in about 20, 30 seconds or so. And these are just going to be the pass through receivables. So anything that's owed to you but that the customer sh or their customer should have paid, let's say a week ago, a month ago, or maybe even 60 days ago. It was due in the past, they haven't paid yet, so they still owe it. So these are past due receivables. And, and you know, we see that it's 71 of them generated in 20 seconds. So now we see the folder here and we s let's open up customer AA. They've got one line item here. Now let's compare that to the AR aging report, which is the ERP extract. We see that customer AA has I think, six, um, six line items here. So what's the discrepancy? So in the PDF, we see that there, the line item for 460.84 was due on October 12th that we'd also see here. These other three, these three line items are not included. They're, they're due on December 6th and 18th, but the report date was 1029. So they're not due yet. And then these bottom two line items were due in the past, yes. However, these appear to be credits, not uh, debits. So the customers owed money or something like that. Obviously, you don't send this out. These are not past due from the customer at all. Okay, so there is some intelligence here in terms of uh, filtering. You can do that with the VBA as well. So let's close that, and I want to show you the third thing now that the 
loop table and able to do it VBA. I'm going to click on this third button here. It's going to do the same thing as the second button, but it's also going to generate emails, canned emails, which you can send out to your clients. So uh, we see here, email one, email two, email three, email four, and email five. So this email, let's say you've got the customer name, the past due balance and the amount, and you've also got the PDF already attached, and you've got a pre-planned uh, pre uh, email body here, ready? Good afternoon, I hope you're doing well and are satisfied with our products. This email is a friendly reminder of a past due balance. Attached, please see details as to purchase orders associated with this balance. Payment can be submitted, blah, blah, blah. This will check your ACH wire. Please confirm payment. So as you can see these four other emails here. Pretty much the same template, you know. Um, so you can imagine here, you know, obviously I didn't have all 71 reports. I don't want 71 emails, you know, popping up on my screen. Um, but you can do that if you want. And, you know, one thing you can also do in VBA is instead of having these emails, you know, pop up on your screen, you can have them automatically sent to the customer. Um, our client decided not to go with that route um, because they wanted to personalize some of the emails. But, you know, just keep in mind that is something you can do in VBA. Um, and, yeah, so we actually ended up using this uh, sort of PDF generator to take out about 300K in uh, operating costs, thereby driving EBITDA 300K. And again, at an 8X multiple, that's a 2.5 or $2.4 million uh, value created in terms of the sale price. So I think our client was pretty happy with the results um, of this simple spreadsheet. And you know, this is a great alternative to Oracle or, or any other ERP system that may send emails out to clients, especially for small businesses that may not be able to afford such large systems or may not even have the time or resources to implement uh, such systems. All right. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching.